Hey guys, hello and welcome to another Divi Engine Divi Tutorial Tuesday. My name is Roby and today I'm going to be showing you how you can go ahead and password protect any page, post, or section in your Divi WordPress install. We're going to be using a few different tools here. First, the built-in tools that you find within WordPress. Then we'll look at a plugin and then we'll also look at a plugin by us here at Divi Engine, which we think you will love to help you protect parts of your website. So with that, why don't we just jump right into it and let's take a look at how we protect a page in Divi and WordPress. All right, all right, all right. So here I've got my Divi install with WordPress all set up, ready to go. I don't have any additional plugins to use to do this. So the way that we're gonna be protecting that page is we're just gonna to go to our pages section here. Now you'll see that I have a few pages created here for the tutorial. We're gonna look at the password protect a WordPress page. But first, let's take a look at what that page looks like. Here we can see it's already got a message that I put in there saying that it's a password protected page. So, but it gave me direct access to it. So how do we stop that from happening? Well, let's take a look. When we go to edit the page here on this side, and it'll load up here in a second, the method to do this is actually so easy. It, you'll think that, well, why didn't I know this before? But all you have to do is come to the publish area here on the right hand side. And here on the visibility, you just click the edit button. And now you see that password protected option there. And you can go ahead and type in a password. See how I'm saying not password? Definitely don't make these password. If you are a little hard up for finding a good password, definitely check out our password tool that we have created here for you guys at passwordgenerator.divyengine.com. You can go and you can select how long the password needs to be. You can put uppercase letters and the numbers or symbols and you can say generate and I'll generate a pretty unique password for you. I think that one's pretty good. So I'm going to go copy that and then I'll head back to the page that we're editing here and I'm going to paste that password right in there and say, okay, and update. All right. So let's see what happens now. Now it's prompting me for a password once I re refresh that page. Now I don't remember that crazy bunch of characters that I have there, but I do have it on my clipboard. So I'm just going to paste that, hit submit, and there you go. I have my password protected page revealed to me. That was super simple. So with that, why don't we look at how we password protect the entire install. So if I go here to the home page, you see that this page is completely unprotected. It's also a different one. It's the landing page to the site. So let's take a look at how we're gonna go about doing that by using a third party plugin. All right, so the first thing we're gonna need to do here is we need to install the third party plugin. So we go to plugins and add new. Now the plugin we're gonna be used, using is called Password Protected by Ben Hassan. So if I type in password protected, should come up here. And just so you guys can see, here's the product page for that on the actual WordPress repository. It's got about 200,000 users and you know, it's updated fairly enough. You know, this thing doesn't need that much maintenance, but uh, let's see if we can find it right here. Uh, scrolling, password protected. Oh, there we go. We're gonna go install that. And then of course, once it's done and it's thinking intensely, we'll definitely activate the plugin. Okay, activate. Beautiful. Now the settings for this lives right here underneath settings for WordPress. So we just go to password protected and then we're gonna wanna say enable it. Now there's a bunch of extra settings in here where you can allow certain IP addresses. You can allow it to remember you. It's got some caching settings in there, but then also it's got some additional permissions for certain services or user classes that you might have on the site. Um, for this, I'm going to paste that password that I created here earlier um, with our I can find it, nifty password generator. And I'll just reuse it on that page. And then I'll just save the changes with that checkbox enabled. 
So let's hit save. Now let's see what happens when we reload this homepage. Boom, now it's asking me for my password. Now, well, luckily I still have that on my clipboard. I paste that in, hit login. And again, we are back here on the homepage with the content right there. So now I'm curious if I refresh it again, it remembers that I've been here. So just, you know, it's a good thing to know. So your users on, on, are not come being constantly bugged to have to re-enter passwords and stuff like that. Great use case for this is let's say you're de developing a site for a client and, um, you know, they, they need to go in and review some of the work that you've done. This is a great way to just give them the password so that, you know, other people aren't finding the site um, by accident and seeing work in progress or try to make purchases or anything else crazy like that. So it's it's a nifty tool to prevent that from happening. Now for the next version of this, you know, maybe on the page there might be some elements that you want to pass or protect specifically. So the next step, we're going to take a look at Divi Protect by us here at Divi Engine and how you utilize that password protect specific sections within your Divi WordPress install. Alrighty, so password protecting your sections is a little bit different than the other two and requires a little bit of extra work, but the things you can do with it is very, very powerful and your imagination should be giving you some ideas of how to use this, be it like a newsletter or member content or they need to purchase the password to get the access. There's a lot of different things we could do. Now, if we go over here to the plugin section, we'll see that I've got Divi Protect already installed and activated. And if I go here to the Divi Engine section, you see our welcome page and all that fun stuff, support links and so forth. Now, the first step we're gonna do here is we're gonna go back to our pages. And here we've got the password protect a Divi section. Let's edit that page. And now before we, and while that loads, let's look on the front end what that looks like. This is what this page looks like right now. It's got an image right here then it's got a title right below it. What we're gonna do is we're gonna be putting in a contact form between the image and the title here that the user needs to add a password to be able to see or utilize. So let's go back to this page and now this is all loaded up. And there you can see it visually, but the work doesn't happen here just yet. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go here to Divi Engine and then Divi Protect Sections. We'll click on that. And now this is where you can add an unlimited amount of protect sections, sections that you can put all over different pages throughout your site. We're gonna add new, and then we'll give it a title. We'll just say, protect me to be hilarious. And then activate the Divi Boulder. And now you notice all these set, oh, okay, wait, one sec, okay, cool. I'm just gonna go do a full width column. I'm gonna type in contact because we want the contact form. Now you this you can style and you can put any version of a section in here that you want. You can put, have one column, two columns, three columns, whatever. And you can style it however you feel. I'm not gonna go through that. That's pretty normal stuff that I'm sure all you guys know already. So I'm just gonna go and close that out. Visually, we'll see, okay, cool. We've got a contact form, it is there. Now here you see some extra settings. You can change the text that is displayed before the password has been entered. And then there's a lot of different things. You can actually inject layouts and stuff like that in here also. You change the button text. You can have it redirect once it's been unlocked. Um, there's a lot of different stuff. Now for the styling, you'll see the big notice here that the actual form for the password can be styled here or with the module. And we're gonna get to that module in a second. Um, because there's actually two ways to utilize your protected sections. One is to use the short code that gets generated from our name that we used up here automatically, or we utilize the Divi Protect module, which I'll show you in a second. But first things first, let me go ahead and paste our password in there again. And you see here that we've got a link to that generator right there. And then you can also add some extra passwords on there if you want different passwords for different users that type of thing. And then another cool feature is you can set cookie duration so that you, that remember me kind of expires in a little bit or that it'll log you out in a little bit. It just gives you a little bit of extra functionality within the utilization of Divi Protect and you're protecting your content. So let's publish. And as she's thinking, 
cool. Now, normally I'd have to remember that short code, but like I mentioned before, we've got that module, the WProtect protect module. So let's head back to the pages here and then go ahead and edit this protected section post uh, page. And now I'm going to add once this loads another full uh, one column section um, row. And then I am going to type in protect. Here you'll see the Divi protect module. And here you just go ahead and you select the section we just created. Now, if you have multiple ones, they'll all show up in there automatically as long as this page is refreshed after you've uh, created that section in case it was open before. So then we can go to the design options. Here you can do all the different styling for the login button and form fields and all that stuff. I'm not gonna touch that right now but definitely um, gives you a lot of flexibility within the Divi Builder to style something like this. A lot of these things are very rigid, like the WordPress one doesn't even have an option for you to style that form. So let's go ahead and update this. And let, then we'll go ahead and take a look on the front end, what this looks like. And here we go. Now we've got the protected section right between the image and the title. And when I type the password here and hit the login button, boom, now we've got our form right there on the page. And that was actually super simple to do. There's a few extra steps involved in doing it, but you get the flexibility of having some crazy things that you can start doing by protecting certain sections of your Divi WordPress installs. So guys, and with that, that's all from me. If you guys have any questions about protecting parts of your website or your entire website, definitely hit us up in the comments. If you're interested in Divi Protect, right now is a great time to get it. You're in July, 2021. We're doing our summer sale right now. We can get up to 25% off of our plugins. And there's a free raffle that you can enter to win some awesome prizes. So definitely check that out. I'll put links in the description of this video and definitely check out the blog post on our website that will cover everything step-by-step -step for you also with images on how to get this done quickly simply and easily. All right, guys, thank you so much, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.